Hey, what is going on everyone? Long time no see. Today I'm back with another interesting and detailed review of a brand new Oreo based ROM for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, the Renovate ICE 8.0. In this video, as always, I'm gonna be getting through the installation procedure, performance test, the already well-known features of this amazing Renovate Enterprise ROM, and why not, since this is a new Android stable based recently cooked by Samsung's recipe and codenamed Crap, I'll show you what are the new updates, upcoming features and visual changes this Oreo biscuit comes with. Of course, no first release is known to be perfect. This 8.0 version does have some little bugs I'll get to mention throughout this video. So without further ado, let's get into the installation tutorial. You may be already used to this type of installation tutorial. I always mention this part in every single video of mine regarding custom ROMs. The idea here is the same. You will need TWRP recovery in order to install this ROM. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to get it, check the video in the card section. Then I always mention that you should make a TWRP backup of your current ROM slash firmware configuration so in case if something goes wrong, if you won't like Oreo at all for example, although I highly doubt you won't, you can come back and restore your fresh backup without losing any data. Speaking of data, since this is a brand new version of Android and presumably you're coming from Android 7.0 Nougat, a full wipe is recommended. So you'll have to go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. We're clean now. Let's install the fresh Renovate ICE 8.0 ROM. Inside of it, you'll find the usual Renovate Aroma installer with tons of a priori customization options. You can choose your rooting method. I recommend SuperSU since I'm not such a big fan of Magisk. The rest of the customization options you can select or deselect is up to the user's preferences. Okay, after the installation is complete, I would recommend flashing Nox kernel for Oreo since this is currently the best kernel for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus in my perspective. And since it does not come with any rooting method, we'll have to flash SuperSU zip also. All the links to the files I used in this video are linked as always in the description. We can safely reboot the device now. Your device may reboot a couple of times during the first booting process. It's normal so don't panic. Also the initial startup may take a while so be patient. Ok so we're finally back into Oreo madness. Already from the default configuration menus you may notice that Samsung adopted a more minimal approach with this completely white background combined with the black text. I would definitely love if the entire user interface would look like this or at least inverted since I'm a huge fan of completely dark themes. A little color touch here and there and that would be a completely perfect UI for me. And here's the first new feature that pops out right in front of your eyes. There is a brand new setting menu for lock screen notifications, allowing us to set the transparency of them and also invert the text color. Perhaps you may have a bright lock screen wallpaper and you want the transparency to be set on high, you won't be able to see the text due to that. So that's where this option comes in handy, inverting the text color. From the first view, this new Renovate ROM flies. If you thought Nougat was fast, just try Oreo, you will immediately feel the difference. Since I don't really love the Samsung Experience default interface, I downloaded Substratum Team Engine since some of the themes support Oreo, including the Swift Black theme. Ready to see the difference? Here it goes, in 3, 2, 1, and voila! This is my style here. Now let's talk about the feature this beautiful ROM comes with. How customizable is it? Well, really customizable. Rice Twix is the app you can choose from various different options to theme your device as you want. I have an in-depth video of Rice Twix app in the card section if you want to see a more in-depth look into the settings, but the main idea is that almost all the features were ported from Nougat to Oreo. It is not really fully functional or stable right now, as you can see sometimes it displays three clocks in the status bar and uh, overall some settings like the number of uh, quick setting styles are not being saved after a reboot has been done. These are some small bugs and I'm sure the dev will get it fixed as soon as possible. So much talking and I forgot to show you the most important thing in the video, the fact that I'm really running Android 8.0 Oreo under about phone in settings, a menu which has also been redesigned. 
The settings app itself has your Samsung account picture in the top right corner now and when press it, it will get you into a page with all your Samsung information. Coming back to the home screen, the Samsung Experience Launcher has also been updated with some minor but really effective shortcuts when you long press specific apps like phone, messages, telegram, substratum, etc. It will give you a nice pop-up with all the available new tasks. The camera has also been redesigned to match the new Note 8 one without the annoying Bixby Vision pop-up. Let me guide you through some of the newest features of Oreo now. The first interesting one is the updated edge lining with three new effects to choose from and a large variety of tweaking options to match everyone's taste. I think my favorite is the glow one even though I also like multicolor. The edge panels have also been redesigned, they kind of look more stylish now along with the navigation bar which has also received some improvements and theming options like the ability to set the default background color of it to black or some pretty fine ones. Here comes what I believe to be the biggest visual update from Oreo. You have the ability to choose between different clock styles, on the always on display and why not on the lock screen itself. And I have to tell you, they look absolutely dope. I would like a separate store for those in the Samsung Teams application since they can make a big visual impact to the user as you can probably see from the samples shown on the screen right now. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be a great idea for Samsung to implement in the future. I believe this one matches the wallpaper perfectly, along with Oheyu back as perfect substratum module to deactivate the status bar and the text infos on the lock screen. Again, I will link every module and app that I used into the description. One small update I noticed on the go was the ability to link the ringtone volume to the media one, which makes life more easier. Regarding the performance stats of this ROM, as you saw until now, it literally flies. Just look at how fast the animations flow. Even though I don't care about benchmarks that much, I'll run a Geekbench to see the score it gets using this great Nox kernel and after a couple of minutes this is the score it managed to get. Wi-Fi speeds are the same as on Nougat, no problem here. And regarding the battery usage, first of all I have to mention that fast charging works perfectly and without a miss on this kernel. And secondly, from what I've tested the device and putting it to the stress while configuring everything, theming it and so on and so forth, the battery drained 20% in 90 minutes. That means a rate of approximately 0.22% per minute or 13.3% per hour taking in mind that there were lots of reboots, I consider the battery life to be pretty damn great. Speaking about the gaming performance, the FPS counter from Samsung got stuck at 60 FPS during the gameplay of Need for Speed No Limits, but overall the gameplay was smooth without any interruption. So, to sum up, I have to say I'm impressed with this new ROM update from Renovate Team and I know in the future updates it will get better and better and little bugs will be fixed for sure. Until then, I hope you enjoyed my video review. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. We're already a big Samsung flashing family and it would be cool if we would get bigger and bigger and spread this far around. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and contact me on Telegram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. Thank you for watching my video, until next time, as always, take care, Wicked is out, bye bye.